What is going on YouTube? This is MythJosh19 back with today's GTA 5 video. So before I get into this video, I'd like to point out that there is a video online that shows you can pick up a shovel and go to CJ's uh, grave from GTA 5 or GTA San Andreas. Um, that is actually a mod. It doesn't say it is in the video, but it is a mod. So don't watch it. That's all. I mean, you can watch it because it's a good video, but I just tried to do it a few minutes ago and it was totally fake. So, but other than that, let's get into today's video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the location for a, for, uh, for three, or for two, or actually about one, um, of Lenore Johnson's letter scraps so for this one this one is letter number 18 I have about 24 so I caught some in the city you want to go to the I think that's it uh, you want to go to the White Chapel Church up in the desert just uh, west of Sandy Shores so you pretty much so you want to go to that building that's dead ahead. It's just, it's actually just west of the cement fa factory where I was when I started the video. I was on top of that because that's where another letter piece is. But once you get there, and I just crashed. So once you get to the church, you're gonna want to go to the back where the graves are. The Hill Valley Church of Los Santos is what it's actually called. So once you that go there, you're gonna want to go. Where are the graves? I thought this was a graveyard. Yes, there it is. You want to go back here to the graves. Once you're back here, oh, rabbit. Once you're back here, you're gonna find this letter piece. Uh, this is a uh, scrap letter piece from the letter that confesses who, um, basically it's a confession letter that was torn apart by the person who killed Leonora, Leonora Johnson 40 years ago in GTA 5. So I have, that's actually now 23 out of 50, so I'm about, about halfway there. But once you get that one, you're going to want to go to, uh, where is it? You're going to want to go to Zancuda River under the Route 68 Bridge. So the Route 68 Bridge, I believe is this bridge right here. Yeah, the one by the military base, I do believe. Yeah, because that's Fort Zancudo, which makes this Zancudo River. So, let me just go back to the road and get a car. I'm not taking that cheap. Yeah, so this is Route 68 right here. So, I do believe... That would be actually, I don't know. So, if this is Route 68, there should be a bridge, which I'm guessing it's going to be that bridge, maybe? Honestly, I have no clue. Alright, I'm just going to try and drive through the water here. I don't feel like trying to drive over it. Oh, dear. Oh, I missed the deer. Driving through the water, because I can
I find it funny. A tree can stop you, but there's a couple bushes, like actual bushes, in Los Santos that if you try and drive through them, you actually end up cr crashing your car. So let me just get up here for a sec. There we go. Alright, so now that I'm on the road, I do believe the bridge coming up here is going to be... Because I do believe this is the Zancudo River right here. I know this is Zancudo Lagoon. So either it's talking about this bridge or this bridge. Maybe that bridge. <coughs> I don't know. There's lots of bridges around Fort around Zancudo River. So we'll start with this bridge. So just by looking at it, I can already tell you that this is not the proper bridge. Um, I'm actually looking these up online. So it, all it says is Route 68 St. Kudo Bridge. Okay, so the bridge actually does not go over water for some reason. I'm not 100% sure why, but it's actually right, um, it's actually right here. I'm not sure why they call it a bridge and don't mark it with a river, but that's where it is. So that's actually really, really dumb that they put a bridge right around here. So it's actually that bridge right there, I do believe. Let's go check real quick. And there's the letter. I'm not sure why they call this a. I get why they call it a boat. Oh, hang on, cougar. Okay. I'm not sure why they call this a bridge, but it's literally right here, and there's the river. So. That's how you get number 17, I do believe. Now, the third one is actually in the Zancudo Swamp. Um, it'll be up near Fort St. Kudo, but it will be right about, right about here is where it will be. So we're going to get a car and we're going to drive over there and go pick it up. So this is the first time I've actually done audio for these uh, letter scraps. I've done a f I've done like a bunch of them. I think the hardest one to get is the one that's it's on top of the round restaurant near the terminal at Los Santos International Airport. None of the doors are open, so the only way to get it is to flying a chopper on top of the building. That is the only way to get the letter, which I think is ridiculous. But for this letter, you're going to want to go to uh, Zancudo Lagoon. It is right next, if you don't know where that is, it is literally located right next to, yep, you guessed it, Fort Zancudo. 
So once you get to the Forts and Crudo, you'll see like this little swamp area. The letter will be in the swamp area. Oh, uh, don't die. Come on, get up. And my car just died. Are you kidding me? Well, I guess I'm going to be running there because my car died. But the letter is... But the letter is right by the bridge, which is right over there. But it will be on the side of the lagoon that Fort St. Kudo's on. I hate when you run and you try and bring up your big map, it literally will just start recording for no reason whatsoever. That really irritates me. So this letter is actually, what I like about these letters is that, A, it shows that not even the police can find them and it takes like, it takes random people like Michael, Franco and Trevor to find them. But also they glow. So you don't have to literally run around and look for them. So this letter is right here. It's located on the bank of a swamp muddy area that has some dead grass and by the river or lagoon park. And it's on the side of the same side that has Fort St. Kudo on it. So after you pick up that letter, yeah. So that's it for this video. I'm gonna start shooting videos that show the location of three of them each day. So keep an eye out for more videos. Hit that like and subscribe button, and thanks for watching.